Hey, Lantern Cast family, I'm Chad Bokelman. What's going on? Here yet again with another trading card unboxing video. Now, this one is a bit interesting because obviously I have two boxes of this milestone trading cards to get into. So while I have the binder ready, getting a complete set of these, will I crack open the second one? Well, the answer is no. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the second one. I may sell it. I may not. I'm not sure. These are not worth very much. See the recent eBay listings for that. Um, so it's not really worth it to sell it, but, you know, maybe we'll see. Um, the other very interesting thing about these is their promo cards, but we'll get to that in a second. So today we are unboxing the Milestone Dakota Universe trading cards there to promote the new Milestone line in partnership, uh, later on in partnership with DC Comics. Um, and over here, it's a, it's a 100 card set. Let's get this on screen here for you guys. It's a 100 card set featuring original art by Milestone. The characters Hardware, Blood Syndicate, Icon, and Rocket. Uh, complete bios and facts. Randomly inserted foil cards. Uh, embossed and embossed bonus cards. So there are some bonus cards and stuff like that. This is, as you can tell, 1993. Kind of hard to tell, but there it is. 1993 Milestone Media. Uh, as you can see, property of DC Comics. So this was the uh, imprint that gave us Static Shock and then Icon Hardware, Rocket, all the other stuff that, of course, we're familiar with these days. But we've got two boxes here, and I have got my uh, trading card uh, binder that will hold these. It already holds, of course, our last DC unboxing, which is our Bloodline stuff. And as you can see... Just a quick update for Bloodlines. We are we are fully complete. We got our uh, four foil cards, our redemption card, the card it's redeemable for, the one true Superman, and then all five of the promos. Um, so we will talk a bit about the promos for this set in a moment, but let me get one of these boxes picked and uh, open, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, here are our trading cards. And as, of course, uh, it's a 100-card set. And here is the pack artwork. All the pack artwork looks the same. It is eight cards, okay, from Skybox, because great cards are hard to find with the Milestone logo for the Dakota Universe. Uh, it is a foil-backed card, so it's kind of hard to see the information in here. Um... No guaranteed number of bonus cards per box. Odds of finding limited edition foil embossed bonus cards are approximately 1 in 36 packs. Again, very simple. Let's talk before we get into this about the bonus cards. And by that, I don't mean the bonus cards we're talking about the foil embossed. I'm talking about the promotional cards because I got some of them here online. Uh, this, of course, is Static Shock, Blood Syndicate, Icon and Rocket, and Hardware, which is featured on, of course, our foil art here and on the box itself. Now, as you can tell, each of these says prototype. Okay? These are prototype cards. In addition to these, there are supposed to be other promotional cards. I'm not, and there's a difference apparently between promotional and prototype. In addition to that, the first comic. So the first issue of Static, and then Hardware, Icon of Rocket, and Blood Syndicate. I believe those are the four. I will, it'll, I'll put it up on screen, so if I'm wrong, you'll, still, you'll see the right images there. Those were polybagged, okay? So kind of like uh, if you've ever purchased comics before, if you've ever seen a bagged comic, as in sold bagged, you're probably most likely thinking of the death of Superman, the black bag with the, with the blood uh, symbol of uh, Superman's logo, right? That's a poly bag. So the, there was a see-through window on each of the first issues, and they had a trading card in there with them. I'm not sure if the trading card is wholly different. Usually the artwork will be the same, maybe a different layout, different border, stuff like that. Um, so the window treatment is a little different, but the actual physical art is the same. doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to get them all. Um, but 
I'm not as familiar with the Milestone universe as some people are. Um, I have, of course, Static, and I have quite a few issues. I'll put them up on screen here, of the ones that I actually have of Static. I, I have a pretty extensive run, but not, unfortunately, complete, because the later issues, for some reason, are very hard to find, and hard to find for a decent price, without spending a whole bunch of money per issue this far after the series. But I do love Static Shock. He's one of my favorite characters. I'm Back there, I've got a Funko of him, and up there on the wall, and I'll point to it, I have an Icons figure of him right, oops, right there, there it is. So, um, uh, obviously having figures of a character doesn't necessarily mean, hey, I'm a huge fan, but, uh, you know, hey, sometimes I like to show off and point my camera in uh, the direction of my collectibles so that you guys can see what I got going on. Um... But these are the prototypes, so let's uh, hopefully I'll get the uh, other promotional ones and the ones that were in the um, packets there uh, for the uh, comic books. Hopefully I'll have those pretty soon in my collection. But in the meantime, these are protected over here on the shelf. So uh, let's get into it. All right. Uh, so first pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, interesting. We have the Milestone logo. Is this the number one card? Icon. Oh, no. This is a ch this is checklist A. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, this will look really good to start the set. So that's really cool. So we have Fade. Curtis Metcalf. I'm going to set that one aside real, real quick. As well as Jimmy Palmiotti. We got Baraki Young. We got Rocket. Noel Gilding, and we've got Diva. Now, if I think I have this right, these, um, oh, no, Baraki Young is hardware, and Curtis Metcalf is the, is hardware's name. So these, uh, I knew this one for sure. I This one I was curious about but these actually are not um characters in the uh milestone universe these my friends are comic book creators they made sure to put some of the milestone staff uh and the people that helped with the milestone books in the trading card series which i think is incredibly cool um and we will get to one in particular that I'm very happy. I'll be very happy to have as part of this set. Um, but as you can see, we have some information on the artist, uh, or sorry, on uh, uh, the looks like her name. She's her her role is a color editor. And there's a bit of about her and Jimmy Palmiotti, which is a name a lot of people are going to recognize even from today. There's his information as well. Um, sorry. Um, I, again, I'm not very familiar with a lot of the characters from Milestone, but the comic book creator cards I was very happy to see. It looks like we have a, a collect and connect kind of card here. All right, we got Fade again. Blitzen. Oops, let's zoom in here. Blitzen. We got Jimmy Palmiotti again. We got Virus. By the way, guys, I'm a huge fan of all of the art on these cards for the most part. Look at the detail there. That's just really well done, of course. Paul John Leon. Yep. Noel Giddings and another Collect and Connect card. I am... Um, I'm very excited by this set, more so than uh, the... Bloodlines one because at least this one has some really great art. I like the borders. Um, I like uh, the fact that we have comic book creators uh, in this book. John Paul Leon. There's Rocket. There's our girl. Noel Giddings and Diva again. Um, I, I really don't know what to expect in terms of a full set from this box. I hope that obviously we get a full set. Um, cause I really don't want to break into the second box and, you know, if, especially if I'm down only a couple of cards, it's almost a waste to open the whole box at this point. Hot streak, which of course we'll talk about a little bit, 
Blitzen, there's Icon, there's Masquerade, Jean Paul Leon, and there is our regular static card. Hmm. Non prototype, as you can see. That's really cool. Hot Streak, of course, being one of Static's uh, villains. Saw him also in the animated series. That's where I became to know Static. Uh, I was born in 1987, so clearly that Static series was pretty perfect for me in terms of... Um, I was its intended audience, basically. Fade, Reprise, Jimmy Palmiotti, Baraki Young, Icon and Rocket, First Flight, there we go. Zhongling and Kim, and The Origin again. Look, this is interesting. So, um, our friend over the Lantern cast... Uh, who is an artist for DC Comics. So, uh, his name is Daryl Banks. You probably recognize him from the creation of the character Kyle Rayner, but also maybe images like these that are scrolling across your screen right now. One, one two, three. Yeah, at least those. He also did a, a variant for the most recent Icon and Rocket series or whatever uh, that pretty closely actually matches uh, or mimics at least this particular uh, pose and card put that on the screen now too because when i saw daryl did did a cover i had to get it daryl doesn't uh, do a lot of published work these days in terms of that stuff uh in terms of the big two but i do enjoy snagging it up when i see it icon baraki icon there's static again jungling and kim kim i think for this set uh, between the connect, because they, we, we they they get diverse with it, right? We get the heroes, the villains, their real names. Uh, we get the collect and connect cards. Highwayman, like just so much detail on that card. Uh, Boogeyman and Diva. We get uh, we get such variety on these cards. The, like I said, the collect and connect. The. Um, the actual characters, some team-ups of the characters, their real identities, and then we also get those amazing creator cards um, that we talked about up at the top of the, the video. Surprise, Highwayman, Zhongli and Kim, Death Wish. Um, so I'm anticipating a lot of duplicates in this set in terms of um, specific characters. I'm sure we've had this card a couple of times already. And like, we just saw Holocaust and Jigsaw a moment ago. There's icon. Yeah. We saw, we've seen a lot of these cards. That's our already our third or fourth static. So I don't anticipate, that's why I'm sort of going a little faster through these cards and not necessarily going through any names of them. Uh, MD bright. And uh, we'll talk about him. Uh, death of tech nine Deacon Stewart, Okay, oops, flashback, Highwayman, Kawhi, and Death Wish. M.D. Bright. What a great artist. Really enjoyable man. Um, and uh, his, his work, as you can see, there we go, on Green Lantern. Put some of his work on screen here for you guys is uh, very well known. I uh, met him at a convention once. I can't remember precisely which one, but I did meet the man. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, and it was a uh, he's a really nice guy. Uh, the death of Tech Nine. Let's get this back in focus. Whoop. Deacon Stewart, Raquel, flashback, Mistress Mercy. Boogeyman and Edwin Alva. Um, there is a particular creator in here, and you'll know it when we see it, that uh, is going to be fun to have because there's lots of memories, especially associated with Milestone in DC animated uh, uh, properties and stuff like that. These bags are very, very thin, very easy to open. Buckwild and Mercenary Man, more connections, plus Wise Son, Mistress Mercy, Checklist B, perfect, perfect. Uh, give me two more of each of A and B, please. Kawhi and Mike Gustavich. <clears throat> see there. Buck Wild, we got MD Bright again. Again, see, we're getting duplicates very fast in this. Sideshow Tech 9 versus Holocaust. 
Creator, Zombie, and Kawhi. Creator is an interesting card. Because he's the originator. Of the Big Bang. All right. Um, oops, here we go. Back in focus. More connects cards. Sideshow. Tech Nine. Mistress Mercy. Zombie. And Edwin Alva. Um... I'm hoping we get some of these foil cards. Uh, get, I want at least two, which would definitely offset. There we go. Rocket and Static. That's one I was looking for. I've seen that image quite a few times. Aqua Maria. Creator again. Another checklist B. The Big Bang itself. Mike Gustavich again. Um, there's another. There's a creator card I really want. There's obviously the extra checklists, but I'm hoping we get lucky and get at least two foils because, while not expensive, it would be nice to. Larry Wade. There we go. I already got checklist B enough. It would be nice to not have to purchase that many of these things aftermarket, which is what I do. Um, I like to f have complete sets in the binders because I think they're cool. Payback, more connect, Haku Maria. Okay, Larry Way, Tech Nine vs. Hark, another creator, Big Bang. So what's interesting is you'll see over here a lot of the duplicates I'm getting are in like back-to-back -back packs. So like we didn't see creator at all, right? And then all of a sudden we had like three of them. Um, and same to go with like MD Bright. We saw that happening, right? And Iron Butterfly, Top Dog. This is the first time we've seen Top Dog, Wilt Johnson. I think Tarmac, right? So let's. this is a very noticeable card. Top Dog. This is the first time we've seen this card, I'm fairly certain. Let's see, in this, like, in this layer of cards in this box, right, how many Top Dogs do we now start to get as a result of this, right? So Payback, uh, where's Icon, Larry, uh, Wilt Johnson, Dennis Cowan. What a wonderful man. What a wonderful creator. There's his card. Did some great work on the question, of course. Of course. And that, that's another good uh, denoter. How many times are we going to see Dennis Cowan starting now? This, that's the one. That's the one I was looking for. All right. Erotic system, systematic. Iron Butterfly. There's Top Dog again. Wilt Johnson. Tarmac. Another Connect card. Yep. See? It's, uh, I think uh, these were put in the boxes in a very specific order. Um, no real chaos or mix-up to them. There's Dog, Hardware, Brick House. And there's Dennis Cowan again. And Third Rail. Uh, there we go. That one I was waiting on. Dwayne McDuffie is the man. Rest in peace. Um, he has a lot of credits to his name, especially in uh, DC animated stuff. Um, but take a pause and read through that because you wouldn't have a lot of the DC stuff you love without Dwayne McDuffie, uh, including Milestone. Um, so, um, some of his credits, uh, in DC animated, which I'll put a few examples on the screen now, um, you wouldn't have without Ms. Mr. Dwayne McDuffie. Systematic. Queen nine, brick house, and third rail. So yeah, um, I think we actually need more checklist A's. We got just a couple of checklist B, C, Dwayne again. Okay. Ooh, foil, 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 foil. Top doc. See, all of a sudden we get duplicate. We don't have any of a card, and then all of a sudden, back to back to back, we get like three of them. Um, so. These were ve definitely boxed in a very specific way. Definitely, um, hopefully, when they were sold, would have been mixed up um, to help the people get what they're looking for in a more random chance instead of buying just the top three and getting, you know, half half duplicates for the three random packs they happened to pick out. Tech nine, okay, lots of connect cards. Dog again. Hardware, Dharma, Dennis Cowan, and that. 
Uh, I forgot to go back to our foil card. This is hardware. You can very t clearly tell he's foil and he's embossed. You can tell. Okay. There you go. He's embossed onto the card. Not my favorite one to get, but we got one, right? So it's like one in 36 packs. We got that. That was, that was met. But can we go above and beyond? Mechanic. All right, Butterfly Hardware, Brick House. There's Virgil. That's our first Virgil. AKA Static. Uh, I do recognize a lot of these characters in terms, uh, especially the villains, um, from being mined for episodes of uh, of the animated series. Uh, let's see, Steve Mitchell, which it's another comic book creator. Um, I really hope the way they and I didn't. I didn't look, but I really hope the way they arranged these is in such a way that it's going to actually look good when I put it in the binder because I really want all the creators to be together, the secret identities to be together, or next to their uh, hero and or villain um, alter ego counterpart. And I really definitely want the Collect and Connect ones to show uh, on the same page together, but I will make that work. Technique, Blood Syndicate, Hardware versus Alva, Donner, Gene Hawkins, Virgil Hawkins, and another card. Let's see. And I think we are down now to our last five, five packs. Let's see. Tech Nine, more Connect, Dog, Dharma, Steve Mitchell, more Connect. Yes, we are down to our last five packs. So let's see what we get. Um, Icon versus Blood Syndicate. Temple. Hillis Jones. Estelle Jackson. Robert Washington. Okay, so... You know, you guys know I like to do the whole, um, you know save the last few packs. Let's see if we get the them. I think because these are so obviously arranged in a very specific order, it's going to be very obvious that the last couple of packs are going to give me a lot of the ones that I'm looking for. So we're going to actually open all the cards in this one section here and we'll see what gets kicked back as something we are missing. So I think that's the first time we've seen DMZ. Um, might have saw that early on. I definitely need slash want another checklist A. Let's see. And there it is. Yay. Curtis Metcalf, The Origin Virus, DMZ. There's Static and Hot Streak. We haven't seen that card yet. So, yeah, I knew. I knew it. I, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you there's another Static and Hot Streak in this pack. Twilight. Tempo, this Jr., Virus, TMZ. There, knew it. Called it, called it. Completely empty, done. We did get one foil, so at least the odds are being met. So let me go ahead and pull our checklist, get the binder um, from over here going, uh, and I will come back to you with our results. Be right back. <laughs> All right, folks, we have a 100% almost complete set of the milestone stuff. First of all, here are all the extras, and the binder has been set up. So let's page past our DC bloodlines. And we start with a little milestone marker. That's one of the checklists. I thought that would be a good way to know what's next. And here we go. Here is the images all together for Icon and the Blood Syndicate. These are the only two Connect images, and luckily they're the first two. Uh, so card one, you know, all the way through nine, and then 11 through 18 here. These are the only two uh, Connect images that, that uh, we have with these cards. And then we go into our characters. Okay. And then we have some of the others here. And we have some sort of team up cards basically. Okay. 
We have some uh, citizen IDs, basically. And then we start our comic book artists. Now, unfortunately, um, there are 10 of these. I say, you know, unfortunately and fortunately, because I'm happy that a lot of comic artists got represented in this way. However, the OCD part of me really wants them all to be on one page. <laughs> um, and then we have the Tech 9 stuff, the and then the Citizen IDs for the heroes. And then we had the space here and then the checklist. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a milestone image here to end the regular set. There's our checklist yeah, space there. There are two foil cards, right? And then there's other stuff, including promos and the stuff that goes in the comics. And then here is where our, our, our prototype cards are supposed to go. So I think the with the, all the stuff I have left to get, because there's a static foil I need to get as well, some of the other promos and stuff like that, which I will put as many on the screen as I can find online here in just for the next few moments. But and I think it'll go all the way until much, much like the bloodlines. I think it'll cover at least half the page. So we'll probably end somewhere around here. And then hopefully our nets next uh, set can fit in these pages here. But that is it. We have a 100% complete DC Bloodline set, including promos. And we have a 100% regular set of DC Milestone in here, except for the foil and the extra promos that we need. And um, we already have a good start on the promos here. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this unboxing. I was very excited to do this, more so at least than Bloodlines. Uh, and I'm very happy with how it turns out in terms of the binder. Here's hoping that the next cards will fit and help round out this binder without too many um, promos. Uh, the next set is going to be a... Um uh, prestige format type of uh, kind of classics masterworks style um, DC stuff but um, we shall see if it'll fit in there in the meantime if you want to listen to the lantern cast you can find us wherever you find good podcasts uh, follow us on Twitter Facebook and anywhere else you can find us we do have a discord email us to find out that information check out some of the other trading card videos we have on this channel thank you so much for watching and as always here is the mess, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.